So here's our pano straight out of our um, uh, surgical procedure. You see here, the first thing we want to look at is, is the position of our implants within the jawbone, making sure that we're respecting the anatomy away from any critical structures. If I were to trace our inferior alveolar nerve here, plus our mental foramen, inferior alveolar nerve here, and you can tell this one kind of branches a little bit right there, um, but pulls along right here. We've got a considerably safe distance here, mental foramina. 19, 30 look great, 22 and 27 look great from an implant point of view. And then what we also did was is we went ahead and we wanted to verify uh, the full abutment seating. And uh, you know, interestingly enough, this is always dynamic how we run our live courses here at UNLV because we had our um, kind of our first time where an abutment wasn't fully seated. And we kind of could see how that would happen on that 19 and 30 just to ensure that we get prosthetic space. So take a look here. I looked right here at that number 30 position and first of all, let's go over to 27 for a second. This right here is a fully seated abutment right here. Go ahead and zoom in super close here for me. Yeah. And you'll see here we've got a fabulous seated abutment. Everything here looked really good. 27 looks good. And uh, click that here for me. Thank you. And let's go over to 22 also. Just kind of drag that across. You can see here 22 is also beautiful. Everything here looks really good. Then as we traverse over here to number 30, you can see here there's a little bit of a tiny gap between the edge of the platform and the abutment. And then if we traversed over here to 19 as well, take a look, also a similar type gap, just a little bit smaller. So long story short, you know, this was an opportunity for us. We kind of took a look at it and we said, oh shoot, you know, number 19 and number 30 still need to come down a little bit. So in the meantime, Dr. Engel and I were working on the case here, um, just using uh, a piezo and then also a, um, a surgical curette to go ahead and remove some of the bone spicules as well as when working with our dental assistants, our dental students here, we noticed there was a little bit of kind of bony spicules that were kind of floating in the socket. Uh, so we flushed those out really, really well. A couple of back and forths and ultimately, flip it on over here for me. Uh, we seated those locator abutments and then here is our um, final x-ray. So we're just gonna trade on over here and then um, don't save that. There we go and now blow that up and then um, go ahead and use the magnification here on 19 and 30. And you can see now that the abutment is fully seated here. Uh, everything looks appropriate, everything here looks good. Now you see no junction between 19 uh, and 30 where the abutment is. So here's 19 over here, up oh, there it is, there's my finger. So rolling up and down right here, we have a perfect seat as well. Um, so as you can tell here, you know, the dynamic nature of even flap less surgery is a little bit more of a blind surgery, but Dr. Engel again just showing off some really beautiful surgical skills here. We have a fabulous result.